Hey, it's Jeffrey Pepper Rogers, and I want to introduce you to this little instrument, uh, which I have used on several songs on CDs and perform with it as well. Uh, I get a lot of questions about it, so here's a little introduction for you. It's called a strum stick, and uh, it was the creation of a guy named Bob McNally down in New Jersey, um, also the inventor, the original inventor of what became the Martin Backpacker guitar. And uh, the strum stick is a three-stringed instrument. Um, this comes in different sizes, but this was a G strum stick, so the tuning of this one is G, D, G. Whenever I play that, I want to go bum, 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 da -da. <laughs> So uh, the other thing you'll notice about it is uh, it doesn't have all the frets that you might expect going up the fingerboard here. Uh, that's because it's got what's called a diatonic fingerboard, so like a dulcimer. So um, on here, you get the notes of a major scale. So if I go up the first string, you'll hear what I mean. You can hear that do, re, mi sound. I actually skipped over one fret on the way up, this one. So that note is actually the flatted seventh, which in G would be an F natural. So um, it's got the notes of a major scale plus the flatted seventh. Um, but then the other notes that are not in uh, accounted for there, um, you just don't have available. So you're limited in the chords you can play, the notes you can play. Um, but there's some great things about that. Um, and uh, most of the time you're going to be playing, this is an in G, most of the time you're going to be playing in G on it, uh, or possibly in E minor, which is the relative minor of G and has the same scale. So uh, the two songs that I've recorded are both in G on this. First one was Stand by the window and raise it away. Open your ear for a song. I'm turning the corner. Weary but never so strong I'm humming my way back home Humming my way back home to you Humming my way back home To rest with you As night rolls through. That song, very much inspired by the first person I ever heard play the drumstick, uh, Jennifer Kimball. She recorded a few beautiful songs on uh, her album, Veering from the Wave, uh, on the drumstick uh, back in the 90s, I believe it was. The other song that I've done in here, the other discovery about the drumstick is it's super fun for fiddle tunes. Uh, so. called the 8th of January and so that became a song called the eight <laughs> eight days in January and on the first of January crawling out of bed like a half inch staple is sticking in my head I don't see my dog curl up on the floor stumble on his belly and slam into the door so uh, really fun um, and uh, gave me those songs, which I wouldn't have found otherwise. And so that's my G drumstick. And then this is a D drumstick. So it's pitched lower, as you can hear. If you look at these side by side, uh, you see the, the bodies a bit bigger on the D one. If I line them up on the bottom, you can see the D one was actually got a longer scale because uh, it's pitched lower. Um, the relative tuning, though, is the same. Um, D, 
A, D in this case. Set up of the fingerboard, everything else is the same. And uh, so I just um, did my, released my first song on this D strum stick. And um, started off with this riff that I was playing. sang this over it. I am not a holy man. I take the wisdom when I can. A crack of light around the granite door. And one of the things that was cool to me about that is I'm playing playing that melody on the drumstick, but I'm singing. I am not a holy man. I take the wisdom when I so um, I'm singing a harmony to the line on the strumstick, or the strumstick is playing uh, a harmony to my voice, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but it's like having another singer almost. Um, and it's something I'm trying to do a lot on guitar these days too, is to harmonize with my voice in different ways uh, on the instrument. So um, the other thing that was, that was, well, a couple other things about this song, which is called Holy Man, is... Uh, unexpectedly funky the whole thing got builds to this so uh, goes almost into a little bit of Jethro Tull territory on that that part of the song, uh, especially because uh, Wendy Ramsey's playing the flute, plays a flute solo, brings that whole uh, sound to mind somehow. Um, and um, the other thing I'm, I'm, that I find cool about that, uh, and a little bit of a vi personal victory, um, is that the song, even though this is in D, the song is actually in E minor, and um, I didn't know that I could play a song in a key other than uh, the one that's kind of built into the instrument here. Uh, but it actually worked really well. Um, and I realized that uh, the reason is that E minor and D are actually not that far apart in terms of, in, as keys. Uh, there are two sharps in D, uh, C sharp and F sharp, and there's one sharp in E minor, which is F sharp. So there's only one note that's different um, and I said this has the flatted seventh in it. So in the, in the key of D, the flatted seventh is a C natural. So um, C natural is another note that I want in the key of E minor. So basically all the notes of the, of the minor scale that I want are here. Um, it meant I could get the chords that I wanted for that song, uh, and it worked. And... Um, it's a really fun uh, arrangement to play with clarinet and flute and drums and, and uh, bass and it's called Holy Man. So the uh, last thing I just have to show you is this amazingly cool case, right? Awesome. Uh, this is not a paid product placement. I just like these instruments. <laughs> it's uh, They're a lot of fun, uh, not very expensive, um, have a lot of musical possibilities. You don't see them very often. Gets people's attention when you play them. Uh, and they're loud little suckers. They make, they make quite a racket. So uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching and see you around.